This is some of the craziest rock I've seen. What is this, guys? Hi, I'm Liz, and my other half is Charlie, and we are exceptionally frugal. That's why we're traveling the U.S. in our minivan Opal, paving the way for others to see that traveling on a budget can be quite fun. We love the outdoors, and we try to avoid cities, do lots of hiking, and have a strange obsession with rocks. So hop in the van, and let's see what kind of adventure we can find. We're on the road to the Crystal Geyser. Yep, we gotta stay on the road. Now this is desert wasteland out here. Like there's like almost zero plant life. It's all like rock and mineral deposits. I think we have arrived. So this rusty looking pipe hole in the ground is the geyser. You can see a little bit of carbonation coming from the bottom of it. That's cool. That's way cool. We're parked over there. And it's cold, it's a cold water geyser. So if it does happen to go off with us being so close to it, um, we're just gonna get wet. Yeah, it's it's just carbonation that, that uh, it's like a shaken up pop bottle, basically. But you can hear it fizzle and you can see that the water is carbonated around it. Well, that's kind of cool. Crystal Geyser is a cold water geyser near the Green River. The geyser was accidentally created when a drilling operation in 1935 hit a pocket of soda at the time. The well was over 800 meters deep but is likely now only a couple of hundred meters deep. It is interesting to note historically that John Wesley Powell noticed a mineral formation when he passed by July 13, 1869, though at the time it was simply a spring and not a geyser until the drilling incident in 1935. It is also important to note that the crystal geyser is a man-made geyser. Well, partially. It was a spring at first and then because of the drilling incident, it turned it into a full-on cold water geyser, which is rare. And then uh, all this here is flowstone. They say it could take about 36 hours for it to uh, actually go off. So it's very unpredictable. So we'll be lucky if we get to see it. Kind of cool looking ground. Oh, beautiful little waterfall. There's a waterfall. A carbonated waterfall. It does not stink like sulfur. No, like there's no smell at all. This is incredible. Yeah. I wonder if we'll be lucky enough to catch it. I think we will. 
I got patience. I got patience too. Do you guys have patience? Let's make a 36 hour video. <laughs> Let's have it go off adventures. Everybody, everybody make a wish. Cause we want to see this geyser go off. Drove out in the middle of the desert for this. Well, no, we were already here. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad it didn't go off right there. <laughs> that probably would have ruined my camera. <laughs> Let's see the algae that's grown here. Oh, there is a slight smell when you're this close to it. It's not really a sulfur smell. It's more of a kind of an irony smell. Probably isn't good to be breathing that in. <laughs> so this yellow rock is flowstone. It's really beautiful. Here's some samples of stones that I picked up around the geyser. I'll give you guys some up close shots. This one had some betroidal going on. I know, you see that there? So it seems there's some action going on. Better do more than this. <laughs> oh, I wonder how long it's going to do this before going. This is probably it. Oh, wait. Well, that was uneventful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, it bubbled a little bit. Yeah, but some sweet rock vines. I hope you guys like those. Um, and we did catch the geyser going off. <laughs> so we're out in this desert. 
driving back from the geyser and uh ugh, kind of sinking stuff looks like somebody else had the same idea as me uh there is this layer of rock right here that i want to check out so i'm bringing you guys with me that looks probably higher than than i can get to but at least i can get up close to it hopefully and see what it's like this is some of the craziest rock I've seen. What is this, guys? It's like fibers and hairs going everywhere. Even in the gray stuff down there. It looks like a layer of sulfur. Ooh, and a beautiful snake. <sighs> it looks like a garter snake, but I don't know. It's hard to tell. Whew. Sorry, guy. Didn't mean to scare you. But anyway, look at this rock. It's so crazy. Uh, anybody knows what this is? Let me know. Anybody knows that, that snake is poisonous too, by the way. I'm hoping it's not. But let me know. That's the first snake I've seen out here in the desert. This rock is nuts, so. Hey, get out of here, snake. I wanna go look at that bug. <laughs> this is filled with bugs. It's pregnant. Or like it just ate. Check, 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 check. Check it. Anyway, um, Cool rock. Lots of uh, druzy right here. Wow, there's some stalactites up in there starting to form. Check out that bug. Look at these sulfur layers and that betroidal up in there. What? Wow. This is awesome. Check it out. Check it out. I wish I brought the hammer with me. Maybe, maybe I'll find something on the ground that I can take. But I should probably get back to Liz pretty soon. But that's cool. I just thought I'd come out here and look at this. Gosh, the designs. Way cool way cool here's another view of it that is awesome try and find me some pieces down here that represent while avoiding snake interactions in the desert <laughs> but that's awesome all right let's show what charlie found out there looks like i'm gonna have to go out there but Nice botroidal on that, but check out that. Wow. That's pretty cool. And this piece is pretty interesting. Doing this one-handed here. 
saying? All right, guess I'm going out there. She's still looking on the ground and she hasn't even really looked up here yet. Uh, babe, you want Druzy? Look at my foot. Yeah, you get you get a good grip right here. And then look at all these shiny crystally bugs. Show to the camera. This whole rock is just full of that. Much closer shots than I could get with the GoPro. That betrayal though. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There's betrayal there and there and there. And oh, there's betrayal stalactites right here. Right here. Look at those. Can you see that from there? Oh, just look above my head. That's a hopatroidal. Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck? Wow. Yeah, we were just driving and we saw the yellow streak. I thought it was Riley, which I'm sure some of this maybe is. I don't know. Oh, look at this green. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. I don't know if it is safe to be where I'm at. But, and this is just the this side of the rock. What's on the other side of the rock? So the snake went this way, and I'm hoping he leaves me alone. I don't want to bother him, but I want to see what's up here. Oh, there he went. He just went in that hole. I can see his little head poking out in there. <sighs> We're just out in the middle of the desert. Parked on the side, of, we just parked on the road uh, here in Utah. There, now you can see scale. There's Liz for scale. There is a sheet of the troil here. Look at that. That is insane. And a really cool rock, which it's probably holding that whole thing up. But I'm in a very precarious position right here. So I think I'm going to start heading down. But oh my gosh, look at that. It's, like, it's gorgeous. It's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Losing grip on my feet. So, like, I can't believe how much stuff we're getting out of here. So much Betroidal and Jersey and just amazing formations out of this. And it's just, it's all over this hill underneath this rock. Um, it's crazy. And so cool. Like, I'm glad that we took the time to come out here. Um, I was out picking rocks in the field while Charlie, like, he decided he was going to go check it out first. And he came back and he's like, 
you gotta come check this out. So I'm glad I did. Uh, the rocks out there in the field were cool, but nothing like this. <laughs> okay, so I'm finally down from up there. Kind of treacherous. And uh, I'm just gonna look around on the ground here and we'll see what we can find on the ground uh, before we go. But it's getting hot and uh, I'm probably already getting sunburnt, which sucks. I burn easy, especially in the desert. Wow. This stuff is just all over. Oh, did you find a keeper? Oh, he's making good sounds. <gasps> that I can see that. Is that a giant bug in there? I see the crystals from here. Or it's just really druzy, huh? Uh, that could be a bug filled with mud. Oh, yeah. that is a beautiful. Uh, that could be a bug filled with mud. We might have to uh, lug this one back. Because the outside of it is gorgeous design. All druzy. Um, geez, where to start? Where to end? Like, look at that. There's like a whole thing of quartz right there. There's uh, pieces of the stalactites that broke off. Right there. Uh, it might be a stalagmite. It might be a stalactite. Any one piece found out of this area, I would be so stoked about. There's just so much. Wow. <laughs> it's almost like baguettes. <laughs> With a little druzy on top. Wow. Okay. I'm going to be carrying a lot back. <laughs> this is the wash right below it. And there's opal out there. And uh, the, the vein kind of dips down right there where Liz is and ends. It's all sorts of amazing designs here. Hey, stay away from that hole, babe. We don't know what's in it. Could be a well, maybe that, maybe whatever's in there is luring you with cool stuff. Dang. I mean, that's that's quartz, but that's just glistening. This is crazy. This is crazy. I can't believe we found this. Like, we just stumbled upon it. All right, babe. <laughs> I said, all right, babe. <laughs> I think we should get going. I'm not leaving my mountain. I'm sunburned. I'm sure of it. I put sunblock on. Either that or I'm bronzed out. Well, we can only carry so much in the van. This is so cool. Yeah.
All right, I had to leave her behind, guys. Bye. Uh, maybe. <laughs> oh, I just gotta get out of the sun. My ears have already been burnt pretty bad. And uh, I've been trying to heal them with Neosporin and aloe. They're pretty ugly looking. So I can't get them any worse than they have been. Plus the rest of me. I have already had skin cancer on my head and uh, three and a half by three and a half inch hole cut out of the top of my head, which I'm cancer free now, so that's good. Wear sunblock, wear hats, people. It's uh, not something you wanna mess around with. They told me I had to get a dime size hole taken out of the top of my head. To begin with, it ended up being uh, eight hours of cutting and cauterizing and waiting for them to test the margins. And then they'd be like, oh, we gotta take more. More cutting and cauterizing for eight hours, like four hours one day. And then I, they sent me home and had this big pillow thing on the, on the back of my head to go home and sleep with. And the, with I had to go home and sleep with a big hole in my head still. And then uh, come back the next day, four hours cutting, cauterizing. And then I had to rush to find a plastic surgeon to close my head up because uh, the cutting and cauterizing was all done at, a, at an outpatient clinic. Yeah, it was crazy. Not something I want to do again. So I always try to wear sunblock and hats. And that's why I wear this big hat to cover my ears and most of my head because I don't want that experience again. And neither do you, so wear a hat and sunblock. <laughs> well, that was fun. That was so much fun. Uh, I can't believe that we, wow. <laughs> that Botroidal though was huge. I've never seen it like out in the wild like that. <laughs> like you see those at, at like rock shows and stuff and rock shops. Yeah. But for us to find that, like, just little old us. And and the, the lines in the rock. <laughs> we're get, we're getting good at this instinct with rocks. Like, didn't look at a rock book or anything. I don't even know if that site's on a rock book. I mean, there's no recent footprints out that way. Yeah. Um, I'm sure people know about it, but... Whoa! <laughs> so cool. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next episode. Oh, and check out Patreon to help support us. You know, put some gas in the tank. Thank you. Bye now. Bye now.